Hello everybody, it's Nitpick, and today I am going to be reacting to Rolling Quartz, Fearless. So apparently this is a K-rock band that was sent to me in my Discord server. I was immediately intrigued because I'm a huge fan of Korean culture. I'm actually a fan of Japanese culture too. I listen to a little bit of K-pop, not a lot, but I've never actually heard K-rock. So I'm really interested in what I'm getting into, so let's just get Get right to it. I'm already digging this purple hair and the outfit and the makeup. Just had to say that. Let's go. So dirty guy, non tell by Her voice. Okay, I already know that's gonna be good. So hold up. <laughs> I'm doing longer clips and I don't realize it. I have to go back. What they did in that last verse, it felt like there was something missing, but they it's like they did it intentionally. Her smile is adorable. Anyway, it felt super intentional to make you feel like something was missing and wanting you to come back for more. Again, don't know the lyrics, don't know the context of the song, but I do want to go back mainly because I did not expect this. So it's it's rock, but I dare I say it's a little bit like it, it's rock music, but it also has aspects of like pop rock, you know? It has some pop elements to it that give it just a little bit of flavor to the rock music. I really like it. So we already get like opening interlude with a nice simple guitar solo. Her voice. I was not expecting her voice to sound like that. And that little pop element. Yeah, so what's really neat, again, simple chord progression, I'll leave it alone, but the timbre of her voice is, I'm gonna make a comparison, try not to get upset with me, but it's like her voice is very powerful and it's got a depth to it that to me it sounds similar to like Lady Gaga, which I love Lady Gaga, I love her voice because she's got depth to her voice, she has power to her voice, and this singer has a, that similar flavor, of, that timbre of voice. There's, it's like, there's wisdom in her voice, she's seen some stuff, it's not as high-pitched 
and which was what I was expecting, which I should never assume. We had this first verse and we had this little electronica interlude into the next verse. So it's like small little elements of pop that again, give it a little bit of flavor. So let's keep, let's keep going because I want to see this again, this next portion. Ugh. Y'all, I want the Korean glass skin. See this. Because I want to hear But we don't get that. So I feel like they're trying to pull me in. To this part. They did it on purpose. Yeah, so did you notice that part where it was like, it's like they knew that like with any any song like there's a lot of repetitiveness in mainstream music and so because of that repetitiveness they need to have something to reel the listener in and i think it could be that or it could be they just wanted to change the style up but they took out the ability to feel the drive so it all of a sudden makes you feel like it, you've stopped like the motion has kind of stopped you have to listen and then when the chorus comes back in the rhythmic feel comes back it's very very smart composing let's keep going from here and i have a feeling i'm gonna experience something real cool i'm gonna roll it back just a little bit <laughs> We got the wah-wah effect going on. Yes. how we have a beat here versus the first time with little interjections <laughs> ma'am ma'am <laughs> okay no 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 we gotta go back oh, she's gorgeous her hair is so pretty um so the solos okay i was like oh this is cute it's like you know solos repeated twice but just with a wawa effect but then all of a sudden they start moving around the neck of the guitar and then we get something completely different it, yeah and then notice how at the end they added in that drum beat to the bridge and we actually had that beat that we were looking for the first time so yeah i do want to go back this is this is exactly what I wanted. Wow, wah, wah, wah. So we get that wah, wah, and then we get double noted. And then... Simple two notes, and then... <laughs> this is just catchy. And then here we go. Yep. So smart. Good night. Dude, her voice. What I like is like there's 
there's not too much complexity here, but there's just a lot of smart moves done by the composer of the song, whoever wrote the song. So, for instance, making you want more in the middle of the piece, and then we finally get that that itch scratched at the end with the actual beat being inserted back into the bridge portion going into the end of the song. And then not only that, like, the guitar solos are not extremely complex, but they're effective. And it still shows off their musical prowess here. So I would assume by how they're soloing that there's more in their tank and they're just not showing it in this particular instance. And like, one of them seems like they're really good at moving around the neck and creating singular note solos, while the other one is really good at creating like effective long note tone solos. There's a difference. So everyone has their like specialty, right? And then we had the drummer who was creating the beat and then having a few interludes in between each solo, just kind of showing off her ability as well. And the vocalist is just her she's just singing she sounds great her voice her timbre of voice is completely not what i would have expected i'm kind of glad this was sent to me i've never heard of k-rock at all so yeah really good stuff if you like to continue the conversation about music please feel free to leave comments down below are there more k-rock bands out there because i want to know are you a k-pop stan like are you huge into the K-pop scene. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>